This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, in the previous session of electrochemistry, I talked about the variation of molar conductance with concentration or better I say dilution. In this session, I will tell you the dependency of molar conductance on ionic mobility. Students, in the previous session, I said that as the dilution increases, as dilution increases, molar conductance increases. And this molar conductance reaches to its maximum value that we call as molar conductance at infinite dilution or molar conductance at zero concentration. Okay, this is at infinite dilution. Now, I told you the meaning of uh, infinite dilution also. Infinite dilution is that stage of dilution after which no significant change in molar conductance on further dilution. My point is clear. Dear students, at infinite dilution, all electrolytes, all electrolytes are almost 100% dissociated. 100% dissociated, but their molar conductance values differ largely from one another. And to explain that, we take the help of speed of ions. Speed of ions. Let me tell you that the molar conductance at infinite dilution for HCl is about 426 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse while this molar conductance at infinite dilution for NaCl is about 126 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse now if you compare these two electrolytes what is the common part Cl minus is common so the difference in the molar conductance values at infinite dilution will not be decided by the Cl minus. It will be decided by H plus and Na plus. Now look at these values. Look at these values. For HCl it is 426 and for NaCl it is uh, 126. So lambda m at infinite dilution for HCl is about three times or better I say more than three times more than three times more than three times the value of NaCl and this difference this difference is explained by speed of ions we say that speed of H plus ions is more than more than three times three times Na plus. The speed of H plus is more than three times the speed of Na plus ion. Dear students, speed of an ion varies with potential which is applied. So it is better to use the term ionic mobility. Now what is ionic mobility? You can see here it is the distance traveled by an ion per second under the potential gradient of 1 volt per meter. Now what is this potential gradient? It is the potential applied between two electrodes present at a distance of 1 meter. If the distance between the electrodes, if the distance between the electrodes, let us say is D, then potential gradient can be defined as potential difference upon distance, distance D, distance between two electrodes, between two electrodes. 
and mobility of ion will be defined as speed of the ion upon potential gradient now consider a question here here the question says a potential of 9 volts is applied between two electrodes placed 0.15 meter apart a dilute solution of ammonium chloride is placed between the electrodes and nh4 plus ion is found to cover a distance of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter in 1 hour what is the ionic mobility of nh4 plus ion ionic mobility as we know formula wise ionic mobility is speed upon potential gradient and potential gradient is defined as potential difference upon distance between the two electrodes the unit of this potential gradient will be volt meter inverse and and the unit of this ionic mobility will become speed is meter per second potential gradient is volt meter inverse so overall the unit will become meter square second inverse volt inverse okay my point is clear now what is given in the question potential difference is given 9 volts and the distance is also given 0.15 so we can easily get potential gradient as 9 upon 0.15 the value comes as 60 60 volt meter inverse now we have to find ionic mobility of nh4 plus ion so ionic mobility ionic mobility of nh4 plus ion will be written as speed upon potential gra gradient speed is given what 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter in 1 hour so speed if i want to write meter per second then i will divide with 60 into 60 means 3600 and divided with this potential gradient so i will multiply 60 again now if you solve this if you solve this value comes as 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 8 and unit will be meter square second inverse and volt inverse this is the ionic mobility of nh4 plus ion students let me tell you that ionic mobility of h plus is found to be 5 to 10 times greater than most of the other ions and and conceptually if we go h plus size is very small size is very small and that is why it's a charge density charge density that we define as that we define as charge upon volume this charge density will be very high size very small so charge density very high since charge density very high it is heavily hydrated it is surrounded by large number of water molecules heavily hydrated and experimentally we have found that h plus ion in aqueous medium is hydrated to, to form h9o4 plus ion what is this this is a trihydrate of hydronium ion hydronium ion is h3o plus and trihydrate means 3h2o this is the ion so in aqueous medium in water h plus actually exist in this form trihydrate of hydronium ion and this is large in size large in size large in shape so mobility of this h plus mobility of this h plus should be low 
rather than this high my point is clear so to explain the high mobility of h plus we take the help of another concept another mechanism known as grothers mechanism this mechanism says in water we have hydrogen bond so a proton moves rapidly from h3o plus to a hydrogen bonded water molecule and is transferred further along a series of hydrogen bonded water molecules by rearrangement of hydrogen bonds and this movement accounts for high mobility of h plus ions in water let me show you this let me draw hydrogen bonds in water molecules i will draw it like o h h o h h o h h then o h h now h3 o plus h o h h and here plus according to grothus mechanism this proton moves rapidly from this h3 o plus to hydrogen bonded water molecule like this and this from here to here then this hydrogen here then this hydrogen here and this way this way proton is transferred so this proton is transferred from h3o plus to this hydrogen bonded water molecule and is transferred further along a series of hydrogen bonded water molecules by rearrangement of hydrogen bonds and this movement accounts for high mobility of h plus ions in water and this explanation can be proved correct by the fact that in ice in ice the ions move 50 times faster 50 times faster than through liquid water in ice in ice one h2o molecule one h2o molecule is surrounded by four water molecules tetrahedrally like this hydrogen bond here this side also hydrogen bond here you can draw like this here you can draw like this so this is hydrogen bond this is normal covalent bond so here h plus ions move more rapidly dear students let me tell you that lithium plus is also small in size it has high charge density hence hence it is heavily hydrated it is surrounded by large number of water molecules and because of this its ionic radius becomes very large in aqueous media and its ionic mobility decreases and this way we say that ionic mobility of li plus ion is low dear students in the next video lecture of electrochemistry i will talk about kohl ross's law thank you this video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties free online tests prepared by expert faculties 
to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive tests and mock tests, to discuss doubts with mentors, Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.